and I do just what I like If I want it, I can get it, and I put that on ice Why she acting different, try to throw it to the side She used to be so funny, now she turned Hey, what's up, y'all? My name is Desert, if you didn't already know, and I'm back again with another video. It's a coach video, so I think we're on number two or three of coach videos. I don't remember. I know I just did a coach video, so go check that one out. It's on my page. You'll see it. It's the mini loop puffy bag, something like that. So, again, go check that out, okay? But this video is a tote bag, so it's bigger than the bag that was in the other video, and I forgot the exact name of it, um, so I will put that right here after I record and edit. Obviously, it'll be here. Um, I don't even know why I just said all that. Y'all know me. I'm going to give y'all everything y'all need to know regardless. And it's going to be on the title of the video. So, duh. So, here we go. Um, it came in this big old box, and I'm going to just get right on into it. Hold on. I think this is the right way come just like this and i don't know if you guys remember if you watched it or not in the coach topia video it was like a whole themed box so this is expected okay and i've ordered stuff from coach outlet before i don't think it comes the same like it's not the same so here we are and this bag specifically i had been waiting for it to come on the coach website again hoping it would I got lucky because it, I checked and there was one in stock, so I was able to use my discount and pay $225 instead of $250. Because if I had got it off Dillard's, got it off wherever, it would have been $250. I was so mad they sold out on Coach, but I got me one, probably something somebody returned. But yeah, my babe. I had pizza for lunch today. Not that y'all asked, but I told you. So hey. <laughs> Take it out. I like the packaging it's simple but it makes you feel like luxury like you spent money so here we go and i think this is like the i don't even want to say it let me google because it was like a 26 or a 29 like the name of the tote bag itself and um again they they went out of stock at least this size they have other sizes i think a bigger one and a smaller one um and if you go on the dealer's website or you go look at my community posts they have it in green on that site they don't have it in green on the um it just says cargo tote and it's in the color black but the other one like the smaller one was like 26 it had like a number it's something weird like that you get what i'm saying y'all yeah, know how these brands are um louis vuitton i'm pretty sure numbers their bags too okay so we're just gonna get into this packaging the dust bag is like a kind of a silky material um just looking at it it looks like it would be the same size if not a little bit tinier than my tell far but i am gonna do a side by side with my east pack bag um yeah it's gonna be my east pack bag because that's what i have right now so let's untie it that was a cute little touch i've never seen a brand tie the dust bag before it usually is open in a mess they got the tag just so y'all know certi er, certified crafted to last this bag is made with cotton sourced from farms that use regenerative agricultural practices for 250 dollars and all we're getting is recycled material it kind of makes me chuckle but that's to be expected at this point um well, maybe it's not recycled. Maybe I'm just stupid. It says it's just made with cotton sourced from basically ethical farms, I guess. Um, let me back up. I think this is the front. Yeah, this is the front of it. I'll just pull it out. It's so cute, you guys. This one I will be keeping. I do not plan on giving this baby back. This looks black to y'all, right? I'm kind of irritated about this kind of tannish color that I feel like it's supposed to emulate gold, but then y'all put silver um, stuff on it, even a zipper is silver. I like silver. This could have been a different color though. Okay, so here's the, um, the strap. It's attached to it with a little clear piece of string. The packaging is just, shout out to coach that's all i'm gonna say 
Because you have the zipper covered in packaging, the little coach emblem tag thing that stays on your bag covered. They even put a little board in here. You get what I'm saying? Like they, they were like, yeah, no, we're protecting this. There's a board in the back pocket, which by the way, might I say, this is a back pocket and this is a front pocket. I'm digging it, okay? I'm digging it. Unzipping in, just unzipped it. We're gonna take all of this out because I wanna see what the um, inside looks like in terms of packet or in terms of pockets. It might not be no pockets. I didn't look at none of that. And I will put the measurements of the bag in the description just so you guys know. And again, I am gonna do a size comparison on camera with the Telfar. I'm not gonna do my East Pack one. I'm gonna do my Cobalt Blue one so you guys can have a better understanding. There's so much packaging in here. They said, girl, please, this bag is not getting flattened. Um, we got the little anti-mildew things. They got the little paper on the sides. Like, they were not playing. They said, girl, no, this thing is not getting smushed in transit. This. They redeemed themselves from that hole in my freaking box. All right, y'all. No pockets. None at all. Y'all can see the inside of that. Not a single pocket in sight. I do like the fact that the bag zippings, though. They got me with that one. That's why I like the East Pack Telfars, because I don't like that button stuff. Somebody could just, or I, I'm always dropping my purse, throwing it in my back seat when people get in my car, taking up my purse's seat, because the passenger seat is for my purse. <laughs> I always throw my bag in the back, and if it's unzipping or I'm using one that doesn't have a zipper, everything is just all over the place. No pockets, but I guess they they caught themselves doing the pockets on the outside, so they were like, all right. But you could very well get a purse organizer, which I think would be helpful if you're anything like me. And you just throw stuff in the bag. Oh, the inside also has this coach stuff written on it. Um, this is a coach bag. The story patch is our badge of authenticity. Few people may see it, but it will always be here for you to, as a reminder of our commitment to quality and craftsmanship. It's got like a little... A, a, what am I trying to say? I'm kind of out of breath now. It looks like it has a serial number in it. And so the, the little patch right there is supposed to let you know, like, this is a real bag. You get what I'm saying? I mean, there isn't really much else I could show. I guess I could put the, the strap on for y'all. Just so you can see the whole look of the bag. Um, oh, yeah. I'm going to show y'all the strap because I forgot the strap had its own little design on it. Hold on. Y'all. I'm so sorry I'm slow. I'm so sorry. Okay. Well, this bag is not going back, so whatever. Doesn't make a difference to me. Hold on. Come on. This is why sometimes unboxing stuff for the first time on camera is stressful, but I like for y'all to see the whole package in the whole unboxing so this is the strap it is adjustable it is indeed um i'm trying to figure out where it gets hooked on to but it's looking like it would get hooked here this is gonna make me mad in here so this little hook and then there's another hook over here and i say it's gonna make me mad because um I don't like when bags do it diagonally like put the hooks on the side in my opinion but whatever in general i like the bag that is a small complaint and yeah again it was 250 310 in. i think that's canada that i don't got nothing to do with me though um hold on let me clip it Yes, this is like a shoe try on but for a bag. <laughs> there is so much packaging. It's actually like almost wasteful. Not gonna hold y'all. But I'm taking all of this out. This is the little tag I was trying to show y'all, but it's got the tape all over it. Um, 
let me get this towel far so I could do the size comparison really quick. Hold on. There we go. Got tape in my mouth. I'm about to switch this bag out now. I'm not even going to hold y'all. Do y'all want a what's in my bag video? Somebody commented it and was like, do a what's in my bag video. Maybe I'll do it with my new bag. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, it like, is that a diagonal? But in general, hold on. I'm going to back the camera up so y'all can see. In general, I still don't know if you'll be able to see. Yeah. It hangs down at a perfect length. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. I got y'all. There we go. This is perfect for me. I like it. It's about the same type of bag as my um, Marc Jacobs bag. And like I said, here, let's just put it side by side with my full East Pack bag. It just looks a little teeny bit bigger. It, it don't look that much bigger. And this is full, so it might look a little more stretched out. Like these look about the same size. When I post those measurements, I'll make sure I find the Telfar me measurements too in the description and I'll let y'all know. But this is the bag. Let's give you a package free view. Oh, and this like kind of closes. So you could like put stuff in there and maybe not worry about it falling out as much, you know? Um. I don't see no no other tips and tricks other than this side buttons. So there's that. I'll give them that. And yeah, and it zips, of course. But that's it. Y'all like it? What y'all think? I want the green one. But I went with black just because it's practical. I'm obsessed with it. If I get this new job, pray for me, y'all. This is going to be my first, first, first day work bag. <laughs> it's a really good size. It's so much space. I literally could fit my iPad in here. I could fit my, look, I'm gonna show y'all now. This is basically a what's in my bag video. My iPad will fit in here. I'm just switching it out on camera for y'all. We got my work keys that can go right on in there. We got a little pouch for stuff that could probably go here. And I like the fact that the handles open do you see what I'm saying? That opens that. That could probably go right on in there. Yeah, that works. Um, what else, y'all? What else? What else y'all thinking? My wallet. I haven't switched out um, my brand and black with wallet yet. That's a whole other video. Y'all gonna see that. It might have been posted already. I don't know. Life is crazy. I'm doing what I can. <laughs> I'm posting when I can, but sometimes I don't post videos in the order that i think i'm gonna post them in so yeah but my wallet which the other wallet would definitely fit in here like either one um my gucci perfume where we putting that we could put that one right on the side like this yeah i mean it's a little heavy because my ipad and stuff but this is a perfect size bag i totally recommend i totally recommend i'm loving it I feel like it's gonna be durable. I mean, it's not sagging. And y'all know, like, no shade to Telfar. I love Telfar, but their bags kind of sag a little bit. Like, this is this is structured, and I love it. But that's all I have for y'all. Give you one little view of the bag, and that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed my video so, 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 so much. And yeah, like this video, subscribe to my channel, please. And make sure y'all get them discounts on coach, okay? Make sure y'all getting them. I think it's like a 10% off $150 or more. They, like for a first sign up. So if you've already ordered from coach, just use a fake uh, email. There you go, problem solved. <laughs> it's like, let me stop. Thanks y'all. Love y'all so much. Thank everybody for the support. DM me on Instagram, comment down below, do whatever. Let me know what you guys want to see next. And I got y'all. Thanks for sticking around if you stuck around for this 15-minute video. Love y'all. Peace out.